out in the big game program, deep with Kevin Bow and Jonathan Williams. Two freshmen and a sophomore. Seibel's kickoff goes into the end zone and out of the field of play. And so all of that speed back there is nullified by the kickoff. Jeff Hustetler will start at quarterback. Kurt Warner will be at tailback for Penn State. Booker Moore has moved from tailback to fullback this year. Mickey Urquhart is your flanker. And Tom Wise is a split end. Tom Wise had played some at defensive back, but he is at split end this year. So here come the Nittany Lions, first possession, wearing the blue shirt from their own 20, and they're working into a mile breeze. Horses to set them out of the eye formation. And fumble. And cover. It'll be a loss of about two yards. The offensive front for Penn State, Bill Dugan is a 278 tackle. Wodowitz, John, is a 246-pound guard. Bob Jagger is a 243-pound center. Sean Farrell, 252-pound guard. Pete Sparrow is a 242-pound tackle. And Brad Scoville is a 211-pound tight end. Second down and 12. And stop. Settler is taken off of his feet by one of the best defensive ends in the country, Gary Nelson, number 92. It's the trademark of a good defensive end, and Gary Nelson, number 92, was all big eight last year, is the ability to close. Once you see the quarterback or a ball carrier, to close the gap, and watch how he tackles Costello before he gets ready to throw the ball. You do not turn your back on Gary Nelson without somebody on the blind side to help you. out of the pack and goes across the 30 and it's a first down and there is the young man we told you about he is truly exciting and joe paterno says this is the quickest penn state team maybe ever 22 yard pickup the, the normal call is a draw play you would think that nebraska would be alert for it but a big gaping hole is opened up right in the middle but this young man can fly with that football watch him break right down the field north and south and get the extra yardage for the first down the 32 is first down for Penn State. Well, there's the first flash of excitement of the ball game. Hey, this lines are thrown. Booker Moore to the outside of the sideline, and he's faster than your average fullback. But there is a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. So hold on. The referee today is Jay Vincent Price, Bob Corsaris, the umpire, headlinesman Richard Farina, Kent Hulk is the line judge, field judge is Walter Walsh, and... Uh, the back judge, Artie Falk. Illegal procedure, Penn State, the run by Moore is nullified. That's a loss of 31 yards plus the penalty. It'll total a 36-yard loss on behalf of Penn State. He is a tough inside runner, but can't break away as he did on that play. Nebraska defensive front, Williams, Clark, Heinlein, Williams, and Nelson, the Williams are brothers. Linebackers in secondary, Baker, Williams, Lindquist, Mean, Sims, and Gary. So the football is moved back to just inside the 27-yard line of Penn State. It is first down and 15 for the Nittany Lions. He throws the two electrifying runs by the, the freshman, the two, the sophomore, and the senior. And the Nebraska defensive front just took on some new respect for the offensive front of Penn State, didn't they? Yes. Long count by Ross Cutler. He has a man in motion. That man in motion turned up field and caused the illegal procedure call against him. Ross Cutler's pass incomplete. He's a flanker now, number 19 for Penn State. Lions are in the dark blue. Ball is handed off inside to the fullback. Booker Moore. Moore pops it over the right side, gets it out to about the 33. Derry Nelson again makes the tackle. Derry is a 222-pound senior from Fairmont, Nebraska, number 92. You'll hear his name a lot today, I suspect. Urquhart in motion back this way. Hostetler back to throw it. Has pressure. They got him. So the Cornhusker, for the second time in the ball game, sacked the quarterback, Jimmy Williams. Number 96 got him, and Jimmy Williams is a 4-4-5, 40-yard defensive end at 223 pounds. And his brother, Toby Williams, plays right next to him, left tackle. Ralph Giacomaro is in to do the punting for Penn State, standing at the 15, could get it out of there around the 19. Good kick, high hanger. Dave Legal for Nebraska. And good 
coverage by Penn State at the Nebraska 28-yard line. That was a 50-yard punt. Jeff Quinn. Warner is the deep man out of the eye. Booker Moore, the fullback, and Hope Settler is the quarterback. Nebraska in a four-man front right now as they give the ball to Kurt Warner. And Warner turns it for about five yards, running behind the right side of Farrell and Sparrow. Florida leading Mississippi State 7-0 in the first quarter. And Pittsburgh uh, having its trouble getting points on the scoreboard this year, leading Temple 7-2. And there's one of great interest in the Atlantic Coast Conference with North Carolina out over Maryland 10 nothing, and Clemson beating Western Carolina 3-0. It'll be second down and five for the Nittany Lions. That's the 25. And Nebraska secondary is really in tight. Hand the ball off to Warner. Warner loses a cue and gets it to about the 29-yard line. Got it out to about the 32 before Williams and Sims, Sammy Sims, the monster man, number six. For the Huskers, sent him backwards. Ball loose. Nebraska's got it. The Corn Huskers come up for the fumble at the 30. And guess who? Gary Nelson, the defensive right in. He is so quick. He saw that ball squirt loose and he just pounced on it. That was a great play on his part shows what quickness he has, why he was all big eight, as we've already mentioned. Watch it. When he sees the ball, he dives right on it. One thing should be automatic is this exchange between the Southern quarterback, two fumbles. Oh, right. The kick man for Nebraska is out of Vermilion, South Dakota. Well, that's a knuckleball. Takes time for it to bounce around. Jonathan Williams, the freshman from Somerville, New Jersey, picks it up, and he's another one of those freshman flyers. That uh, Joe Paterno says gives him the greatest speed that he has ever had. First down, Nebraska leads 7-0. Most up, they're rolling out to throw the ball. Down he goes. That is the third sack of the ball game. Jimmy Williams, this time the junior out of Washington, D.C. I told you a few minutes ago that he runs the 40 yards in less than four and a half seconds. So he's, you're not going to outrun him. Very definitely you are to... Penn State's passing attack is the rollout, the sprint out, and depend upon Hostetter getting around the end. This time he failed. Loss is back to the 34, second down and 15. Quarterbacks have been sacked for a total of 20 yards. Hostetter with it, goes outside to Clint Warner, Warner to the sidelines, and he cuts it upfield for six, maybe seven yards. Is off. The pass is complete, and it's good for a Penn State first down at the Nebraska 46. Tom Wise, the split in caught it. Because USC really did beat on him last week. Right. They really did have it. But he's still got 134, 40 yards. Kurt Warner caught behind the line of scrimmage by Jimmy Williams. He's knocked down back across midfield at the Penn State 49. Tom Wise is way, way wide to the left side of the field, the open side. He's They go the other way for Warner. And Kirk cuts for the sidelines, and he steps out of bounds. Right about the original line of scrimmage. Receiver spot. Four seconds. No chance. Gary Nelson one more time. That Nebraska defensive butt. I tell you, they are quick. Well, Keith, when you roll out on a passing down, they had the safety blitz coming also. It's just impossible to get outside of as many people as Nebraska had lined up. And so the punt now. Giacomero for Penn State. Had a good one his first time. This way he doesn't spin quite as much and hooks it out of bounds. So the Cornhuskers are going to have reasonable, not enough, I don't think, to really make a whole lot of difference. So Penn State takes over at the 25. Here's Bill. And some more action here in the state of Pennsylvania today. Pittsburgh has gone ahead of Temple by the score of 20 to 2. And Marino now has thrown three touchdown passes to three different people. Collier, McCall, and Hawkins. Well, it looks like the Panthers are starting to move it a little bit, doesn't it? Todd Black.
Catholic, freshman, North Canton, Ohio, now in at quarterback for Penn State. He's a little quicker. Ball given to Kirk Warner. And Kirk fights his way across the line of scrimmage for a yard. Wechter and uh, Nelson. Blackledge will run the option play, but he's more of a pocket passer, which I believe will have more chance of success against this Nebraska team. It has two defensive ends that run four six and four five. It's hard to sprint out on this type of point. Second down about eight yards to go. Kenny Jackson, number 82, comes to the wide right side for Penn State. Blackledge back to throw. Almost falls down, gets in trouble, gets his pass off. Brown close by enough for his officials at least gave him the benefit of the judgment, benefit of the doubt, excuse me. The man who made the tackle was Kurt Heinlein out of Bellevue, Washington. That's near Seattle across Lake Washington. Football team. Third down at eight. Blackledge goes over the middle and it is incomplete. The pass intended. Greg Garrity with the speed of the Nebraska defense third and ten practically an impossibility to complete a pass he's got to avoid those particular situations by making some yards on first and second down so Giacomaro is in the punt for Penn State 13.30 to go first half pretty good kick that's legal Davis gets outside penalty flag back inside Piece of laundry laying back inside the 30. 46-yard punt. It was a clip at their own 33, trailing by seven. And it's Kurt Warner up over the top to the 36. Second down and seven. Pressure's on. Black Ridge is sacked. It is Kurt Heinlein, the junior from Bellevue, getting him at Bellevue. Not Nebraska. Oh, that sounds bad. Third down and long. From the 26 over the middle, the pass for Scoville is knocked down and picked up by Sammy Sims, the monster man. And Sims, running like a halfback, goes all the way back inside the 20-yard line. Scoville had his hands on it, apparently, and uh, it was just tipped right into the hands of Sammy Sims. So the big junior from Lubbock makes a big play. Oh, that's a dangerous throw in the middle. But Penn State scout report says they throw in the middle most of the time. And Nebraska said they were going to keep their people inside. The ball was off the hands of Scoville, but Sims makes a great interception. He was hustling. He was three yards for the touchdown. That's typical when you turn the ball over. You fire up your team and you deflate the other team. You deflate your own team. Eddie Neal kicks off. Kick. Warner has it at the 11. Looking for the picket line to the outside. Couldn't find it. So they wrestle him down at the 26 for Penn State. And you've got six minutes and 44 seconds to play in the first half. And I would say right about now, the Lions need to get something going well, in been, order to go to the clubhouse at halftime. They've been jumping around, Steve. Two quarterbacks jumping around with play here, a pass there, a rollout, a bootleg. It doesn't work against the team of the speed of Nebraska. You've got to assault them. Five-man front up there right now for the Huskers, defensively. Blackledge gives it off to Booker Moore. The fullback gets outside on the sidelines and runs it well. He hit the chalk at the 36. That should be pretty close to a first down. Sammy Sims got him out of the Watch the block on Williams, number 96. You can see that uh, we get a little bit of movement and uh, more breaks right around the end for the big game. Pete Sparrow, the sophomore out of Potomac, Maryland, was the fellow who put the block on Williams. They have to bring the chains all the way across the field now to determine whether or not uh, Booker Moore picked up the first down. While they're doing this, I want to just go into my notes for a second and tell you about Nebraska's uh, program in 1970s. And during the research, Frank, I was startled. In the decade of the 70s, Nebraska had two national championships. They had five Big 8 titles. They were second four times. They ranked in the top 10 10 times. They had 10 bowl teams. They had a running off a string of 105 straight home sellouts. 
Cubs. They won 99, lost 20 in 5-4. They had 27 All-Americans and 66 All-Conference players. Now, that's not success. I don't know what to talk about. They've got it going. They, Bob Devaney has done a tremendous job, and Tom Osborne has picked up the reins and continued, and we sometimes get a chance to talk about their walk-on program. Eight of them are starting today. It is just short of the first down, as you saw. Second down. Let's see if the Lions go for something bigger than a foot. Give it to the fullback Moore, and the way Blackwood slammed that ball into his stomach, it's going to come loose. He turned around, and they really popped together, but... Uh, I thought the same thing, Keith. Over Arizona State, Schleister has been just great today. Passed for one touchdown, passed a couple of more for 44, 47, 52. They're really rolling. He's not too bad, that fella. First down. The ball is just short of the 38-yard line. And Blackledge on an option, keeps it. And Todd turns it up across the field, too. to his first down. Rick Linton. Jonathan Williams is in at tailback now along with Kurt Warner. You've got two tailbacks to the ball game. They've actually got Williams up there in a slot back position and he's got the ball and he's got the first down. So Joe Paterno puts two tailbacks into the backfield, line them up behind Booker Moore and uh, Williams does his job. Line of Nebraska. First down for Penn State. Blacklidge has some time, puts it high, he's got a man, it is complete, out of bounds goes Kenny Jackson, the freshman from South River, New Jersey, and Penn State's in business, first down up the Nebraska five-yard line. I'm telling you, that was a great effort. You can see Jackson go in motion, which makes Nebraska change their defense. They have to communicate who they're going to cover and where they're going to cover, and Jackson was wide open. And the ball was laid in perfectly by the freshman Blackley. There he is. You can see him let the receiver run under a deep pass. Makes it look easy. First and goal to go. Penn State at the five. It's Williams diving up. There's Williams, 44. Warner is 25. It's Warner. Touchdown. it again. It's, Nebraska's lucky that the kick wasn't blocked. Case number 96 was right there. He hits the receiver, the kick of the boy's foot, comes back to the ground, which is illegal unless he touched the ball. Evidently, he did, as Keith said. Yep, yeah, you saw the referee. Go so give you the tip sign. So the ball now is at the 44-yard line of Nebraska. Blackwood wants to go. He goes deep. He's got a man wide open, and he missed it. Kevin Ball. Cornhusker within 10 yards of it. Down at 10 from the Nebraska 44. Blacklett getting some pressure. Gets his pass off over the middle. It is intercepted. Pass intended for Scoble. Intercepted by Sammy Sims. His second interception of the first half. And the Huskers will turn away Penn State and will go to the clubhouse leading apparently at halftime. 30 seconds to go. He had Scoble in the seam, but he couldn't find him. Well, let's watch it again. The scout report says that uh, Penn State throws in the middle most of the time, and Nebraska is playing this. But with the type of rush that Blackledge had, I don't believe he should throw it. He should throw the ball out of bounds. He could come back with another pass. The sales makes it a step back. More at fullback. Urquhart. And uh, the front group you see there. The same group that started the football game on the offensive team. up about the 29. Jimmy Williams comes up with a football and Nebraska's got it. Jimmy Williams came out of the sack with a football. Really did 
hit the pointing. I heard that whistle. I thought the play might have been dead, but apparently the whistle didn't come from one of the officials. And the ball is put down at the 28 of Penn State, and that's the third turnover for the Lions. It is the fourth fumble. It's the fourth turnover. Holes in Nebraska. Huskers miss the field goal. Lions go to work first down at their own 23. Did you see that hit? There's a penalty flag thrown across the way. But I want to see if Kurt Warner gets up. And he does, and he is tough. But the guy that hit him, Kurt Heinlein, is having a little trouble getting up. But you'll never see a bigger hit than that. We would refer to that as, <clears throat> as a first-class slobber. That's about what it was. Great play by Kurt. Let's watch it again. He shoots the gap. He's on the center. He comes clean into the backfield, and it's just head up. And you kiss the football with your helmet. Wow. There's an illegal procedure call going against Penn State, but it's been waved off and declined. The loss was back to the 20. Kirk's coming off the field, walking. It'll be second down and 13 for Penn State. position for Nebraska out of a four-man front. Now another man steps up to make a five, Jimmy Williams. Here's the pass to the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. He was down on his knees, Tom Wise, and didn't come up with it cleanly. Now Wise is taken up. That's Jimmy Williams, the junior out of Washington, D.C., and his brother Toby, who's playing tackle alongside of him. There's Kurt Heinlein, who had just shaken up on the previous tackle, Henry Waxter, at the defensive uh, right side and Barry Nelson who had such a big first half at defensive end and it's Tom Wise who is hurt right now for Penn State 11.09 Penn State's passing so far in the ball game Frank Hustetler is uh, one out of three for 12 yards and Blackledge one out of six for 40 with two interceptions I think we, we'd be remiss if we didn't say that Joe Paterno is going through some trying times with two young quarterbacks, not knowing which one to play, Keith, and to rotate them by the quarter is something that the fans aren't going to accept. You've heard some little remarks from them with, since Blackledge, particularly through the key pass that uh, set up the touchdown. It's a tough position for a coach. He's not there by choice. Florida leading Mississippi State 14-7. Iowa State and Iowa are all even, and you saw the final as North Carolina has, has defeated Maryland. Tom Wise now is leaving the field, and Louisville leading Kansas 3 to nothing, with Duke leading Virginia 17 to 10 at halftime. Andy Sedaris will have trouble controlling the enthusiasm of our producer, Chuck Howard, if the Blue Devils hang on to win one today. Missouri rolling along. Hey, in Nebraska and Oklahoma both are looking down the barrel with that Missouri ball club this year on the Big Eight. That's good running, and Prime is having a great year at quarterback. It is third down and 13 now for Penn State from their own 20. Quick kick. It's over the head of Sims. It takes uh, Penn State bounce. And it's going to roll dead at the Nebraska 27-yard line as Kevin Ball kicks it 53. Nebraska leading 21 to 7. And look at that hanging kick. Kurt Warner drifts under it at the 8-yard line. And he almost found some daylight. He almost found a little daylight. Jimmy Williams just sort of drifted along, waiting for him to commit himself. And when he broke it past the blocking line, Williams was there to bring him down. Plus, Stetler is the quarterback. Hands it off to Booker Moore. Pullback. And Book needs the pullback now. That's Coles in motion. Pressure on Hostetler, and the Huskers have him. Back at the 35, Jimmy Williams and Henry Waxter getting there about the same time. He throws the ball against Oklahoma this year until the green secondary got some experience. Over the middle goes the pass. Throws it down the pipe and there's nobody anywhere near it. He's one out of four for 12 yards. And it brings up fourth down and they'll have to kick it away. He sacrificed.
pass, a solid pass attack when you run options. You just don't have time to develop a good pass attack. And the blitz caught Hostetler on second down for a big loss. Rockamaro's kick is away. One is a freshman. Here's Todd Blackleg, who is the freshman quarterback who made a good throw in the second quarter to set up the only touchdown. will be coming back in, I guess, on the next possession. It's a good kick again, sort of knuckleballs it up there, back at the 15-yard line, accepted by Legal, who comes up to about the 19, and uh, the line. Give it a warning. Not very in impressive totals, are they? Third down and 17. Gets it off under pressure. Scovel can't bring it down. And he is really whacked by Russell Gary. And Brad's having a little trouble getting up. He really took a wallop because Gary and the ball arrived together. And Gary is the stronger of the defensive backs for Nebraska. Does a lot of lifting. And he really popped him. Again, uh, the pass is down the middle where the safety man is waiting for it. It's right on target. Scoville, I think, might have got his hands on it, yep. but he couldn't hold it with uh, Gary knocking him loose. All right, time is out. Programming is Blackledge is the quarterback for Penn State. Hands the ball off to Kurt Warner. And Warner gets out to about the 12 for three yards. to the sideline. The pass is caught and caught inbound up at the 27. Penn State's going to put it up. Pressure's on. Ball comes rolling loose. And Lions recover it. The referee Price was standing back there and he was watching it roll and Sean Farrell finally got out of the stack and came back to make the recovery after Henry Waxter had knocked it loose for Nebraska. Watch the quarterback take his back and turn his head to the line of scrimmage. Now he's got a, got a big rush on. He starts scrambling to the right. He has nobody to dump the ball off to. Waxes, waxes him, fumbles the ball, but Farrell recovers it. When Big Henry gets there, you know it. He's 6'6", 267 out of Epworth, Iowa. Second down and a half a mile. Blackledge out of the end zone. Throws the bullet. The pass is complete to Mickey Urquhart. 13.
Marty Jackson catches the ball. Let's see. Nope, he juggles it first. Oh, that could have been an incomplete. It, either way. Now, let's see if he's got it when he hits the ground. If it... No, it's still floating no, around. I don't believe he ever had control of it. But the Huskers have it. First yard line. First down with 448 to play in the ball game. Blackledge trying to throw it. He goes long. He goes for Jackson. The pass is complete. Two and a half minutes to play in the ball game. Blackledge fumbles the football. Picks it up. And goes down about the line of 10. against this bunch from Lincoln, Nebraska. They're just not going to let you do it. That's all. David Clark out of Odessa, Texas, a 246-pound senior, fought his way through there, and he sacked the Penn State quarterback in the middle of the football game. Third down. The ball is now back at the 37, third and 20. Pass incomplete. It was intended for Bo and almost picked off by Kim Baker. Jackson, can't get to it, there's a flag at midfield, Andy Means was back defending, flags 126 yards on Nebraska, two big ones involved in pass interference, Blackwood's back to throw it again, can't get it away, loses the football, but I think they threw him down right on top, it's not 77, Bill Dugan came back to get it, David Clark was involved in one down, long yardage, Blackwood's pass, Mike Mead, the bulldog. Michael gets it off over the middle. Scoble's there. It's intercepted by Russell Gary. And Gary is still running. Now they finally get it down to stop the clock with 27 seconds to play in the ball game. He's there's a flag down back where the quarterback is manfully trying to regain some semblance of balance. He's ejected Dave Clark from the game. So Clark came in and felt it Blackledge apparently after the play had long gone. Penn State gets the ball back, I think. Personal foul, it'll be a big one. 15 yards and the first down if they are penalized 15 yards automatically on a personal foul when you see the referee escorting a young man to the sidelines you know he's through for the day must have happened after the interception on the return I have a dead ball foul against the Reds after the ball was intercepted. It'll be first and, first and 25. So it was a dead ball foul after the interception. Nebraska will keep possession of the ball. It is with 27 seconds to play in the game. Well... Nebraska came to this football game, ranked number three in the country. Frank, I see no reason for that to change. I don't either. Either, Keith. They told me that they are a complete football team. Good kicking, good running, good pass. Their defense has been outstanding. Now they've got the chains organized, and uh, Vince Price walking off the 15-yard penalty against the Huskers. All they got to do is they might have to snap it twice. Rolling. There's the numbers on Blacklist today. I suspect, given a little different offensive formation, though, he might be more of a threat. Let him come straight back and set up a little bit differently. I believe that Joe will be thinking about that when he's going to be his first string quarterback. He looks good in the pocket. The ball game is over. Nebraska continues undefeated as the Cornhuskers beat the Nittany Lions of Penn State by a score of 21 to 7. So, Penn State who came into this ball game ranked 11th in uh, the major polls, bound to lose a little ground with this 14-point loss to Nebraska.